Very well, welcome back to Let's Play, Remnant 3, Hotlum Haven. Last time we arrived in the Bog of Mark, and yeah, that's it basically, we're trying to get to the Land of the Living Dead, but instead of that we go to the Bog of Mark, so we need to travel through here to get there. First thing here, you have to track the toilet for 30 points, and then you can move forward. You cannot get those gems yet, but you will get a way to get them soon. Break a cage for. I have to go find my taxis. The last power up, the green can. The, I mean, the yellow, so it's not green, it's yellow. The yellow can. Which does that? It's the only power up that doesn't modify Raymond's punches. As you can see, you can still throw normal punches. What this does. It's very short-lived, but what it does is when you use the helicopter, instead of going down, you go up. And it doesn't last a lot, of course. But with that, you can get those gems that you couldn't get before. And by the way, try not to jump in the mud. Because that actually hurts you. Well, it doesn't hurt you right off the bat. But it does hurt you if you stay there too much. I don't know if I told you this yet, but whenever you step in kind of like mud or lava or acid or stuff like that in Rayman 3, you now the first the first time you step on it, it doesn't do anything, see? But if you step uh, again in a short span of time, it will hurt you for probably double damage, like two times normal damage, then it hurts you like for half of your health and then it kills you on the third time. So yeah, but if you manage to step away from it and stand clear, you can fall down, say, and nothing happens. Usually, when the life bar disappears, that means you can fall again without, with no penalties. Okay, so you're supposed to follow the frog over there, but instead of going this way, you get some additional points and the cage, which you really want to. Up here, don't get the gems yet. You should get the cage first. Ah, oh, come on, I took the cage, whatever. That gives, that gives us also a life to stand. And this guy spawns some gems for us. That's it. Now, we should follow the frog, which is probably gonna go the other way. Yeah, indeed. Now over here, it's it's very hard to see. Actually, it's almost impossible to see. There's actually a matubo hidden here. Now to find it, I think we probably have to drop down to see it clearly. Uh, I'd like to see it. I mean, I know that there is, but I never, ever, ever was I was never able to see it. Really see it? I always I know where it is, but. I'd like you to see it too. Sorry about that. It's over here. See, it's there, but the sign is there, but I cannot really see where it is. I'd like you to see it too, but let's see if we can find it. It's supposed to be. I don't know, maybe there is no way to see him. Where is he? Uh, there, okay, hang on a sec. If I drop down here... On that wall where it's dark? On the dark part here? Where is it? I cannot see it. Well, you know what? Okay, fine. Just aim somewhere around this log, and then you find a Matubu for some unknown reason. Alright. Step near the cauldron here, and... We'll find the witch again, and by the way, this is actually a boss fight. So, charge up your punch, and boom. Now, what the witch does, she only does... Well, she does two things. Her main attack is to do that, to throw you part of his potion. You cannot hurt her, by, but if he gets it, if he 
I mean, if it poison touches you, you'll turn into a frog. You'll have to match the jump button to run away from it. And eventually, the potion will affect the weird off. Make her thirsty elixir. In fact, if you jump and punch, you will be able to. Don't touch me! To make the potion spill out of the cauldron. And then is where you can hurt her. Because if you try to hurt her where when she's normal, you won't do anything. And then she also does this from She just you just gotta jump. The more you the fight for seeds, the more potion spills out of the cauldron, so you gotta be careful. Do not get turned into another frog. Just change up your punches though, it's not really hard. You need at least three uh, rounds of this. By the way, you cannot hurt her while she's running crazy like that. You have to wait until she stops and the game actually shows you the target. There we go. There, she's done. For beating her, you get the usual... 1500 points and that's it. And then, I don't think you can go back, can you? No, it's closed off. Well, never mind, because there's nothing that way anyways. We got everything. Okay, we're getting deeper here into uh, the witch's house. And there she is again, but this time she will be armless and won't do anything. Though she'll have some funny lines to say. Me? While she talks, I'm gonna get everything in this now room. You have you, you want me. I Saying Raymond, Raymond. Get me out of here. And then there's Globox that talks. Now, it's pretty obvious where he is, I think. It's inside the mirror. I don't know how you one can tell it, but there's actually no other way for you to exit this room. Because it, it has no exit. The only way to exit the room is through the mirror. But yeah, I think I've got everything that there is to pick up in this room. Pretty sure about it. Oh, no, 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 I missed one. Missed the time, okay. I think that's it now. I don't think there's anything else. Let me, let, let me just take a quick look because the level is basically over. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. I guess we can jump in. 97%? Okay. Yeah, we could have comboed the dead Zam near the cage, but... We're not gonna end the episode here because... The next level is also pretty short. It's just one area. If it's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, that's this, this level. Yeah, the Book of Mark starts with two levels. Two very, very short levels. This is the whole level. Everything you can see here is the level, so... Once this area is over... So you get some piranhas here. Remember, you, you get you remember those piranhas from Raymond too. They work the same. You can even kill them the same way. But they did regenerate indefinitely. So this guy is a new type of enemy. Let's have a look at this guy's data. This is a spinnero. Spinnero is a paranoid prison guard who spins round the breakneck speed to make sure no one's creeping up behind him. Now what this guy does, you cannot defeat him by normal means. In fact, he's invulnerable, he doesn't even take damage, all he does is get pushed back, and in fact, every time you find one of these guys, your goal is to push them into some fire, some acid, some mud in this case. Of course, tears with punches, push him a lot, a lot further. 
but I have some other thing up their sleeves, which I'm gonna show later when we get to find another one, another one of these guys. Uh, there are some Adams here playing cards, but they're usual enemies. Just take care of them like that. And then there's another one of these guys. Boom. Take care of him. Get some other gems while we're at it. So if we can combo. Ah, broke a combo. Too bad. Over here, there are two ninjas. Take care of them like that, and break a cage. He'll give you a blue power up, which is needed to exit the level. But we're not done here yet. There is an Idematuhu in this island with a tray over there. Oh, let me get a little bit closer. There he is on this branch. You get the Matuhu. Be sure to double it. Then just easily grapple that thing, and that's the end of the level. But down here, down this tree stump, there is a cage. That will give you the. I don't know what this is called. The Elytropter, probably. The Elytropter power up. To go back up. And that's it. That's the end of the level. I think we got everything. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Come on, camera. What the hell is going on here? Okay, good. I think we got everything. Yeah, pretty sure about it. Let's see. Yep. 100%. That was easy enough. Okay, next time on Raymond 3, we will start right from here. See you guys then.